welcome back y'all i want to start the video like this i kind of like this shotgun uh camera angle deal it's pretty cool so just got a full tank of heat about to pull up the rear dragway you saw in the last video i rewired my uh, cam and crank sensor so fingers crossed we just don't have the Miata Khalifa rear dragway curse in the car works today. I, uh, I'm not going to send it though. I want to make it to Cars and Coffee at the end of the month. One of my goals with this, the last Cars and Coffee I went to was that I wanted to go to the next one with a turbo in the car and I want to do that. I really don't feel like breaking anything. Plus I got to save up some money to replenish what I just spent doing this. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, buy a shirt. <laughs> Shameless merch plug, MiataCleva.com. <laughs> Every little bit counts. But I'm gonna go out there and I'm just gonna I'm gonna be easy on it first. I'm just gonna launch it real soft. And then Jason worked me up another tune, which unfortunately can't make it tonight. He's got uh, some stuff he's gotta take care of, but he was nice enough to make a tune for me uh, that lowered the two-step down so it's gonna be real soft and uh, it's like at, uh, 2775 rpm so it's under three grand and it should make like one pound of boost so nice and easy it might bog down from what we're thinking but honestly I'd rather it bog down than break something so I'll probably do that on the second go around we'll see how it goes I'll play around with it Kind of nervous to launch it off two step, but we're gonna make some passes. Hopefully, everything goes well, and I guess you'll see that here in just a second. About to pull in. Unfortunately, the GoPro time lapse for this pass, but basically, it started raining right after I got there, and it took them a couple hours to dry the track, so I only got a couple passes in. This pass, I launched it really moderately, and it only up being like a 760, so that's basically uh, what this one here was. All right, one more pass. This will be the last one tonight. It's late. Not really ready. 
ready for it. Oh, did somebody take my spot? Damn sure did. Parked right in front of my fucking chair. Look at that shit. I'm telling you, man. You know what? It's okay. I'm gonna pull elsewhere. Well, anyway, it's been an all right night, and I say it's a win. We made two passes down the track. Nothing bad happened. So, you know what? I'll probably end this on the way home. Let's do it like we did last time. Well, you know, I have to say it was still a good night, even though I didn't get much seat time in. Oh, they, they started out good, and then it just downpoured like crazy. But they got it dry. I basically got in, in the staging lanes maybe at like 8.30, something like that. They close at 10. The lanes close around, you know, 9.30, 9.45, something. But um, I had two passes. We're a lot slower than we were on nitrous, but eh, you know, it's picking up. I gotta get used to being able to launch it and not worry about the nitrous coming in and just breaking something immediately because I'm launching it too hard. So apparently I can launch a lot harder without leaving a boost. Leaving a boost is gonna be a different story. So my two-step was set up pretty aggressive and was making five pounds on two-step, which that's way too much for me to leave in. So Jason sent me another tune and it's making no boost, but I don't know if I'm comfortable yet leaving it boost.